my wrists is frogs. All my women is boss. TV. Today is the birthday of legendary battle MC Pat Stay. I want to send love and blessings to his family, his spirit, and everything that he represented within the MC battle culture. Over the last couple of weeks, there's been a lot of campaigns spearheaded at getting Pat Stay versus Real Sick released on YouTube. Currently, it lives on the URL TV app. Now, generally, when people say stuff about URL, we take the high road. That's always been our policy for years. But um, I've come to realize, as well as you know, my brothers and the staff, that that method doesn't work anymore because we're in an era where if somebody says something, that's automatically what it is. So from now on, when there are issues, whether big or small, if I feel like it merits a response, I'm going to say something. And this is an issue that I feel merits a response. I don't have a problem with anybody fighting for something that they believe in or something that they want to achieve. But I do have an issue with the method that was used. I just feel like there were a lot of bully tactics like, oh, everybody unsubscribe from the URL TV app or, you know, protest, do this, do that. When a lot of these guys have our phone numbers, some of them were saying that they didn't have a way to get in contact with us when they battled for us in 2023, when they hosted big events like Gnome in 2023. So I find it crazy when they say that they couldn't reach us. Had they had taken the proper measures and reached out to us, they would have known that this battle was scheduled to be released for months. We had been talking about dropping Pat Stay's battle. Um, back during Summer Madness, Jay Black had even suggested that um, we release Pat Stay versus Real Sick during Battle Week. And it was a plan. It was something we thought about. But then we felt that it would have more impact if it was released separately and not around a bunch of other YouTube releases. And we were also a little apprehensive because, you know, then the narrative comes that URL is using a tragedy to further a business or to sell an event. And we just didn't want any of that type of controversy. So we decided to hold off on releasing the battle. But again, communication is key. And had the people spearheading this event who have our numbers reached out to us, they would have known this and possibly could have aided in the marketing and the promotion of it. And kind of like not really ruin the surprise because URL dances to our own drum and we don't really fold to any type of bully tactics. So, you know, we just, wanted to make sure that everything was right. And I just want to emphasize that I just feel that they should have done that. I saw guys jumping into the conversation, MC saying stuff like, you know, organize and soften the hearts of the owners. These are the same people who call and ask me for advice. You know, if, if, they, if, if they saw that the climate was changing, why couldn't you have just called and said, yo, do you see what's going on? Are you guys thinking about dropping the battle? You know what I mean? But nobody does that. And I get it. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to make anybody the bad guy here. You know what I mean? Because I understand this is an emotionally charged situation. And sometimes people act without being mindful. But I'm not going to let URL be villainized anymore. So I just want people to understand that and know that this is how I felt. And I felt like this blog was necessary because then if we just dropped the battle, it would look like these tactics work. And this is, you know, how you get something done. And it, and it doesn't work. You know, we had already planned to drop this battle. It was in discussion for some time now. And, um, you know, I just wanted people to know this before jumping to any conclusions and thinking that these campaigns are what work because they don't, you know, um, we decided to drop it just based on, you know, um, what happened to Pat, the tragic situation. And, you know, the good news is that we are dropping this battle and that battle will be dropping tonight on the URL YouTube channel. So I want everybody to tune in. If you watched it when we aired it for free, watch it again. If you're a member of the app gang and you've been watching it for months, watch it again. If you've never seen it, you know, this is your time to get a chance to enjoy it. But again, I just want everybody to be more mindful and stop painting this narrative that URL is up to something sinister. This is something that was already planned. And if communication was in order, 
everyone would have known it and we could have moved forward with the marketing and the promotion in the way that we wanted to. So I just wanted to put that out there. I wanted to um, let everybody know how I felt and how we feel as a company. And I just wanna let you know we have a lot more to come. I wanna send our love, peace and blessings to Pat Stay and his family. And um, let's keep his legacy alive. Tune into the battle, URLTV.tv. You can't copy respect.